Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome on back to another episode of the Masters FC Create a Club Career Mode. Oh my, the last episode was massive. It was a mammoth episode. We had so much happen. Wins against Chelsea and Manchester United, if you don't mind. And also, we made two massive signings. We picked up Centelles from, uh, where did we sign him? I can't even remember, but we bought Centelles, a brand new left back, which we really did need. And we also picked ourselves up an 85 rated Casper Schmeichel, if you don't mind. We ended up uh, loaning away every other goalkeeper we had apart from Diaz. And then we decided, you know what? Let's, since we really could do and benefit from having a high quality goalkeeper, let's go for an older, like 35 or older goalkeeper that has a high overall. And we found Casper Schmeichel for next to nothing. We paid half a million dollars for him, but his wage is like 80k or something like that. So we've got him for two years, and eventually, hopefully, he will drop off and Diaz will surpass him, and then we can swap the two. It's a beautiful, beautiful setup. The whole team is looking brilliant, and I am just so gassed with how we've started the season. It's, it's going perfectly. We've only got about a million dollars in the budget after all of that, so that's maybe a little bit of cash for us to sign players. I mean, contract-wise, we're pretty well sorted. No one's running out this season, so... We're pretty well set. We might still have some activity in the window though. That remains to be seen, however. This first game that we have to play today though, before we get into any transfer activity, is against Crystal Palace. Away from home at Selhurst Park, I'm not gonna make any changes to the starting 11 except for one. Danny Amores will start. Verde's a bit tired, the most tired, and really the only player in the starting 11 that actually is uh, you know, not at 100% stamina. So, Waya, Shirky, and Amores, the front three that we were rocking with so much in the championship. The midfield's the same. The back line's completely rejuvenated. And the goalkeeper, an 85-rated Kasper Schmeichel, making his Masters FC debut. Hopefully, it's a cracker. And hopefully, he is going to be solid for us this season. And eventually, Diaz will overtake him. It's, oh, I'm in love with how we've started this season. It's, we are primed and ready to go. Let's begin this then, ladies and gentlemen. Selhurst Park, Crystal Palace. We're looking for four wins out of four in the Premier League. If we pull this off, it will be staggering. Absolutely incredible if we can do it. We are top of the Premier League with only three games played. There's 35 left to go, but unbelievable. Even more insane when you think of the two out of three teams that we've had to face are top six sides. It's just been... It's just been unreal. It's been unreal. It's It's been a little too good. I, I understand. I think we're going to hopefully have some reality. Or not hopefully, but I think we will eventually have some reality set in. But if we've been able to go so far, or as far as we have, they've got Frank Ribery on the bench. They've got Zaha still as well. This is a very intriguing Crystal Palace team, isn't it? Palace to kick it off. And we're rolling with this one. Come on. We're looking for four wins out of four. So we can't quite take him on there, I don't think. But we have the numbers. We surely will. Right side here. Danny Amores. Cutting open. What is that for a fake? He fucking didn't even change direction at all. That should have been a great chance. And Weyer. Oh, yes. Bit awkward. But we figured it out. And he's away. And he will surely. This should be simple. Oh, it should be. We are fucking up too many good chances now. And... God, oh, Jesus, Shirky. Fucking Twan Zebe, too heavy a touch. That's gotten away from him. Guys, I'm fucking getting pissed. I'm so fucking annoyed. Delaney, that is a great challenge right there. And look at this. Left side. Hadji, he's getting chased. Surely he won't be fucking caught. Another one there. Left foot. He's got it. Is he on? He's on. It's Ryan Cherokee. We've got the goal. Oh my goodness me. Imagine the only way that this half could have gotten any worse or any more frustrating is if Shirky somehow ended up offside there, which for a second I thought he was. But thankfully, no. Thankfully, no. Oh my god. And Hadji, I thought, was about to lose possession as well. Look at that. They're so fucking quick. The pace at which Hadji was being caught was ridiculous. I thought he had enough space originally to go through himself, but no, we had to cut it back, but at least we got it. Get in there, Ryan Shirky. He's got number one in the Premier League. Hopefully more to come there, hopefully. And we are on for four in a row, please. Long live it. And we are on for four in a row, please. Oh, that's a shit fucking pass. God, we've just been... Oh, really bad. Really bad. Baines, that's a free kick. I'm not surprised. God, can this half just... I know we've scored, but it's still so frustrating. I don't know if they'll lay this off. I think they will. 
No, it's an effort on goal, and Schmeichel still doesn't have to make his first save yet. Oh, I saw Danny a little late there, but that is a magnificent ball in. Can he get away here? Can he get away here? That's too heavy. Oh my god! Fucking hell, their pace is ridiculous. I'm thinking I'm clean through here. I don't need to do a bridge kick to get away from them, but I fucking do. And, yeah, I don't know. I It could have... LV picked off. It's one Zebo. Thank you. Delaney. Left side, left side. Who's making the run to the left? To the fucking... Okay, no, hang on a minute. Can we just pause? Can we just actually pause? Fucking hell, guys. Yeah. It's come. Finally, it's come. Fuck, I've been so pissed off with this game. I just need you guys to stop being fucking idiots for the rest of this game, please. We've got 20 minutes to grab a winning goal. Just don't do anything fucking stupid again for the rest of the game, and we'll be fine. We'll be just fine. Again, I oh, just need... Present yourself, boys. Effort off the fucking ball. I'm going to just drive this one in, and oh my god, of course, the woodwork denies us. Like, this game could not frustrate me much more. Lvojevic. How's that cross got in? Jeez, tomorrow he's been able to deal with it. Baines. Now Hadji. Off we move. I don't really like what's ahead of me here, and I don't really like where Way is going. Eventually he gets through. Oh my god, he, fought, he sorted it out at the end. In the end, he got there. Timothy Way. Oh. Oh yes. Come on, mate. Took me some time, but I always had faith. I always had faith he'd get there. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. At first, I'm like, mate, wait, you're not really running. You're not setting yourself up immediately here once we got going. But eventually, we presented ourselves with it. Gets a brilliantly put away opportunity. Way is, I think, got four now for the Premier League season. So he's tied with Hadji. Lovely stuff. These two, again, are leading from the front. How good to see. It's beautiful. Get in, lad. Well done. Let's go. We are still on for 12 points from 12. Even in a game we've been pretty bloody average in, it looks like we might still get there, maybe. No chance of Frank Ribery coming off of the bench and scoring a late equaliser for them. I, <laughs> I guess we'll see. But hopefully this is about the end of the game. Benteke is going to hold it. Two minutes are up. Referee, don't let them. Don't let them. Nah, it's over. 2-1 victory. We have been poor. So, so poor in this game. Yet, we still come out with a win. Not been at our best and still getting results. Honestly, as frustrating as those games are, sometimes it's a good omen for a successful season when you can play poorly and still get dubs. That is magnificent. Kasper Schmeichel was, you know, not that long ago involved in a pretty miraculous Premier League season for a, a team well outside the realms of possibility when it comes to winning it or getting European football or anything like that. Hell, could he be on for another one? I don't know. We are currently the only team, well, Wolves still do have to play, but man, man, I can't believe it. It's just myself, Spurs, and possibly Wolves that'll be the only ones with a 100% record at the end of this. Wayer delivers the big win. Thank God for him. Ryan Shirky apparently had an okay game, which is not bad to hear at all either. So off we move then, ladies and gentlemen, to deadline day. Will we have any activity at all? God, I'll tell you one thing that we're going to have a mammoth offer here for Giannis Hadji. I said in the last episode, thank God we didn't sell him for about 100, 120 million we could have got for him last season because he's just the heart and soul of the team. And now here comes Liverpool with 130 million, man. God, we've got a bunch of offers for Luke Bolton again. I, I'd almost be willing to sell, maybe not Bolton, but like someone for about like three to four mil. We've got a backup right back in Della Garza if we need be, but like, I don't know, maybe not Bolton. Uh, obviously, we'll come to Borthwick Jackson. I think maybe, I mean, uh, Hadji, sorry. We'll, maybe Borthwick Jackson, but for the little cash, 500 grand, no. Small bone, I don't want to let go of. God damn. There's not one player, I feel like, in the team. Maybe like a Lyndon Gooch or someone like that that I could depart with. But anyway, let's focus on Hadji here, and we'll get rid of all these other offers. How much could I delegate for an assistant manager to try to get? Apparently, 288 million is... The started off like there's no chance, okay. If I was to like say, okay, don't sell the player for any less than like 150 mil, but let's not start the offer at something that crazy. Let's do 180, not even 100 and or 280. I want to see if this range is possible because, oh my god, if it is, I it has to be at least somewhat considered. It has to. God, I've only just noticed too that the guy is literally on nine grand a week when he's worth 130 mil. That is absolutely criminal, man. You know what? 
I'm still not even going to renew the contract yet. You know what? I'm, I've got like a rule. There's this thing that I do normally when you're in the second to last year of your contract. That's when I'll start maybe renewing them. And like even like Timothy Way here, like he definitely deserves to be getting paid more. There, almost everyone in the team deserves to be getting paid more. But we have very limited cash, so maybe only Way I'll give uh, uh, I'll you know give him a bit more of a better contract. Let's delegate the renewal between 30k and 30k. Is that really all we have? Oh my god. Jeez, I really could. Yeah, I really could do with selling some players and just getting a bit more uh, getting a bit more cash in because sheesh, who fucking knows? Maybe Way is like, nah, you haven't been paying me at all. We could have updated my contract. You didn't. Fuck off. I'm out of here. Who knows, baby? Who knows? But we are in deadline day, ladies and gentlemen. If any big offers come in for any players I'm actually keen to let go of, then maybe I'll do it. And obviously... Oh, nah, Ricard Diaz I'm keeping. I genuinely think he could hopefully be, once Schmeichel goes down and overall, our number one. Like, look, these guys right here are the only ones I've transfer listed. Oliver Burke's loan listed because he wants more game time and I can't get him off it. But Lyndon Gooch, I would like to sell. Apparently, I couldn't get him, I couldn't let him go to Real Valladolid, which is annoying. Borthwick Jackson, honestly, for the cash, I probably won't bother selling. But even now, every little bit of wage helps. And uh, small bone, I don't really want to sell either. But um, again, I can't exactly get him off of the transfer list either. But I'm a lot more open to maybe departing with a handful of plays, even if it's for very little cash. Like small bone, Shirky, I don't think I'll let go of. But I mean, still good money. Small bone's not a guy I'm really keen on letting go of. It was only those two. Ryan Shirky for 43 million. Again, I'll maybe delegate just to see. 85 to 43. Sheesh, let's make that a little more realistic and just and just see. Who knows, who knows? Seventh hour or seven hours left to go. De La Garza, an offer for him. And Gooch, an offer for him. I would sell Lyndon Gooch. They're offering me 1.7. Uh, I'll, I will see if I can squeeze as much out of them as possible. I'm going to negotiate this one myself. Hopefully we don't sell, uh, scare them off or piss them off. Instead of like 2.5... I might go for like 2.3, 2.2, possibly. Here, I'm either lowballing them or they're going to walk out and be pissed. I don't know, but what's it going to be? Ah, 1.7. We're really going to be bartering over such a little cash, eh? Come on, mate. 2 million flat. 2 million flat. At least give me a little bit over his value. He's only 26. There we go. Come on, mate. Good job. 2 mil in the budget. That's nice. I'm still waiting to get that transfer confirmed. Still waiting to hear back on Hadji and Shirky. Gooch has been sold. Borthwick Jackson for uh, 500 grand. Again, it's nothing, but I might just move him on. It frees up wage on top of the cash, and we have got left back sorted out, fullbacks. We... We, we'll just take it. I'm not even going to bother trying to get more for him because I don't think we could anyway. And I just don't think I'm going to hear back from Hadji or or whoever uh, Liverpool for Hadji at all here. Um, all right. Borthwick Jackson's been sold. Lovely. We just keep getting offers for him, don't we? So Borthwick Jackson is sold. There's an hour left to go. I, we're just not going to hear back from Liverpool or Spurs for Shirky or Hadji. So they're sticking around with an hour to go. Nothing can happen from here. The team that we have is the team we're sticking with. Borthwick Jackson, have fun at Sheffield Wednesday. There's the confirmation that there was a breakdown in negotiations quite clearly. Well, we've also got with the first of a new month, our first scouting updates for England and Belgium. Alex Michels, if that's, uh, I'm not sure how you would say it, but the potential is garbage. We've got also Louis Laurent, and that is also not ideal. Oh, it's a, it's a poor start. England, however. Ethan Rayner, Louis King, not the best there. Potential's crap. Potential is okay, but not great. Marcus Chamberlain, value is average, man. It's a, it's a poor, it's a poor, poor start, honestly. Uh, not great. Come on, lads. We can be and should be doing better than this. Anyway, moving on though. We are currently still top of the table with four wins out of four, but it just stays this ridiculously difficult. The start to our Premier League season. Man City, and then we go away to Anfield. Oh my goodness. Just to play Man City again in the Carabao Cup. And then West Ham after that. That's not a guarantee either. Sebastian Trey, 14.5 mil. Arsenal won him for the day after or two days after the bloody deadline day. I mean, I'm hoping his overall starts soaring pretty soon, but uh, I just wouldn't let him go at this stage. Not at 19, at 71 knowing he's got at least 80 potential. So, I mean, yeah. But uh, moving on. This game against Man City coming up, boy, it'll be a big one. We actually haven't checked into our youth academy for a little while, you know. I want to see who our best players are. Really, there are no standouts at all. Like, honestly, there's, um, in terms of highest potential, we've got Brown and Bjorn Huber, or Huber who's not even, like, going to be all that incredible, I don't 
think anyway in terms of a go and we got plenty of other goalkeepers too Ronnie Brown's very low overall in terms of actual overall I mean Ezra Eaton and Billy Leonard who apparently now is the only reason I'm in the development squad hub for my youth players is because this guy says he's you know running uh, he's potentially about to leave but like I don't even know if I really truly need the guy I'm really hoping we can start finding a few more superstars because we really didn't find any last season at all which is unfortunate but uh, we will see what happens uh, later down the track for now we focus back on the football Manchester City this is a big one as well we took down Chelsea we took down Manchester United we have been hot rolling after high after high after high Every single player in my starting 11 is fit and set for this, but so too are all of theirs. And oh my God, Aguero still in this team. Foden, De Bruyne, Busquets, whether that's Oriol or Sergio, I don't know. Uh, their back line looks sick. Maslov is a new one, but oh man, this is going to be a very tough game. If we win this, five out of five. Oh my goodness. I, I'm playing ultimate difficulty. Slide is jacked all the way up. I might need to start thinking about it. Either that or we are just getting around the press of these Premier League teams so unbelievably well that we could be on for a much better season than I thought. But there are no guarantees. We could be about to get our asses kicked here. You never know. I always want to keep a strong, positive mentality and believe we can keep this going. This ridiculous, incredible, 100% record just like i don't know i'm getting leicester city flashbacks but surely not surely not their team is absolutely stacked but we've made some brilliant signings they've made themselves right at home and we are having an unbelievable start to our year can we keep it rolling taking down man city would be the biggest accomplishment of our season so far can we make it happen or how is it going to go today maybe completely against the way i'd want it to oh look at the right hand side that's a very heavy through ball it's going to work in pretty wide here but that's still going to be okay. Verde, why would you... I have no idea what the fuck that was. Back stick. Oh. Oh, Jesus. It was a mess. I just didn't want to go for the shot with Shirky. I thought the angle was going to be very tight. Maybe I should have in the end. We are going to have to get around there. Press. Oh, I don't like that pass. Not at all. But we have options now. Just going to make good runs off the ball. Look at this. It's opening up here. Please, get there first. Why'd you switch? Ah, fuck, man. It's right there, but we're just not... Ah, oh, it's just not clean. He's just fucking going all the way through. No one can lay a tackle on him. Oh, my God. And, of course, there are just too many of them. They're following in. We are seeing a gigantic pace difference in this one between the two teams. And on top of that... Why the fuck could De Bruyne just not be dispossessed? Two tackles, I think, were laid on him there, and he just kept going. Like, it didn't even fucking matter. Oh, what a save from Schmeichel as well to put it onto the post. For a second, I thought Aguero was going to do my defending job for me. Like, he almost was going to get in the way of his own attacker. But yeah, just completely blitzed on the, uh, the counter-attack there. Their pace is fucking ridiculous. Their press is also ridiculous. And... We have just not really been able to get around it and, you know, put together a clean attack yet. One, two, and another one. And Hadji. That is a lovely ball, that. Oh, my goodness, Verde. Why the fuck? That is a ball for Delaney. How is that picked out? Where? That's fucking ridiculous. No way. FIFA, that is not on me. I'm not accepting that. EA, that is a fucking joke of a pass. Oh, my God, and Sterling's got it. They're too quick. This is fucking unbelievable. The pace that they have. Twan Zebe makes a tackle. It was always going out for a corner. But bloody hell. How has he brought that down? This is too ridiculous, this team. I feel like I've gone back to FIFA 20, where Ultimate Difficulty gave every single player 99 stats in everything. They're just too rapid. Oh, for a second I thought we were going to somehow get that ball and continue on our merry way. I didn't even look at the clock. But it is halftime, 1-0. And, well, they got their goal because of that ridiculous counter-attack, which we laid two fucking tackles on De Bruyne. How was he allowed to keep going? And then, just in general, how fucking rapid Man City are, man. We're just getting outpaced. Guys, this is what I mean. We get the ball back. They run so hard to get it off us immediately. We are jogging once we get the ball. It fucks me off so much. Good work there, Delaney. The back hill is not going to work out. That's going to bounce all the way to fucking Sterling. A tackle there laid. Finally, we might actually move quickly here. Verde. I have got two players running in a straight line to each other. No deviation or nothing. Shirky, though. And into the middle. And that's still going to fucking get blocked. Guys! 
Too many chances now. We have no one back. No one's even really trying to fucking get themselves available. That is just turned over again horridly. Aguero, ball in, shot wide. Oh man, come on. This is about as fucking insane as I have seen the uh, the AI play. And when their press is this good and this effective, it becomes hard. Baines, look at this fucking just effort off the ball to try to get it off me. It's relentless. But when we get this deep, there should at least be a possibility of something. That's brilliant control from Verde. Delaney, the sweater on, the tap in is there! And there is an equaliser for Timothy Weyer. Let's go. The chances will come once you get this deep after passing a team's press like that. And it is a tap in. Timmy Weyer. Oh, he's been putting him in the back of the net with some serious regularity in this season. And that's a much, much needed goal. We've secured it and we're level. Maybe there is still a chance of the 100% record. If we win this game, that's the biggest accomplishment of my season. Bigger than the Chelsea win. In the Chelsea win, we were garbage, okay? And Chelsea were playing well, but they weren't this good. Nowhere near as unreal as this Man City team. Ball up over the top. Here we go. Vinicius Jr. has even signed for them. Gosh, he's going around me here. Great block from Baines. Lovely. It's a corner though, but still. Good job. Good, good job, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the fucking run. It's ridiculous. But Verde has a lot of space. A lot of space. Look at how quickly they're still closing us down here. I don't like that pass because I don't really have anyone to pass to that's on fucking side. I've got Weyer. This could be it. It is. No. It's off. It's off. Let's see how tight this is. Delaney touch. Fucking hell. Come on. We are an outstretched leg away from a 100% record and a monumental win. There's still some time left though. Brilliant work, Centelles. Guys, fucking, we don't have many back. Where's our fucking center back? Tamori. I'm fucking sick to death. Thank you. Of De Bruyne always getting fucking away with not being dispossessed after a tackle. Now, come on. Make that run. Keep going for it. Hadji, he gets blocked off by Sergio Busquets. There's just too big a fucking difference in the pace, man. Oh, this is what happens. There's no way they're getting this attack, right? You're fucking kidding me. Vinicius, just stop it. Just stop the attack, the cross. Centelles, no fucking way. Don't let them. Tackle there, Tomori. We're out. We're done. Come on, it's over. Oh, my God. Just, I'm, uh, look, I know that I'm having a real good time in the Premier League this season, but this game makes me think, why the fuck do I still run on 55 acceleration sprint speed sliders for the AI? I got burned the whole game, yet somehow was able to find a way to grab an equaliser and damn near this far away from winning the fucking game. Where? So damn close, just an outstretched leg away from a big dub against Man City. But it's only a point. The 100% record is gone. We're still undefeated for our season, but oh my god, nearly. I can't believe I'm saying this too, but we've lost our spot on the top of the Premier League table now. Wolves continue to just win game after game after game. Wolves and men and Masters FC, one and two in the Premier League after five games. You wouldn't believe it. Everyone else looks about right, but... Not us, not us, not Wolves, not us. God damn it, man. But can we just take a second to uh, talk about Timothy Weyer? Man, nearly won us the game. Unfortunately, just offside. Scores a tap in, yes. But I mean, five goals in five games now in the Premier League with four assists to go along with it. Hadji obviously started brilliantly, getting a goal in our first like three games each. But uh, oh my God, Timothy Weyer has started like a house on fire. Unbelievable. Oliver Burke's come off the bench and scored a few. Delaney, I mean, he's getting plenty of assists. Thought he was a little lackluster in the Man City game, but still though. Um, yeah, the the scarcity or the uh, the goals are being shared around now. I mean, we got Cherky, his goal. Even Ryan Thomas scored in the Carabao Cup. How good. How bloody about it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, next game we have is a huge one. Liverpool away. And I think I'm going... To make you wait for it, I'm going to be that guy, but we're pretty well deep in the episode anyway. I did receive one other pretty interesting uh, offer here. Miles Robinson is 73, 25 years of age, and we have been offered 7.6 mil plus a 73 rated centre-back, 26 years of age. 
So that's an intriguing one right there. That really is. This exchange player, Rodri Tarin, or Tarin, has actually got a decent amount of pace for a center back, six foot tall, so just passes. Um, I wish I could compare the two of them because this is intriguing that I'm basically getting $7 million to take an, a center back that's about the same age and same overall. I don't know about potential, but still though. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this one. Do I keep Robinson? Do I trade him? Because I honestly don't know about this one. I don't. I'm essentially getting a very similar-ish player. Robinson has been great, though. Like, I really do like him. He might not go all the way up to 80 rating, but uh, I don't know. I'm curious. What's your thoughts on this one? Either way, we will end it here. I have Liverpool and Anfield the next game in the next episode. Gosh, that's going to be a banger. Make sure you don't miss it. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already. We're like episode 20 fucking 5 or something at this point, lads. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what else to tell you. But still, until the next episode, my name is Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This epic Premier League season will really kick on in the next episode where we're really going to start pushing deep into it. But till then, catch you later. My name is Master Bucks. See y'all later. Why am I just, why can't I just wrap up this fucking video? Have a good one. Bye-bye.